Good evening, board members, staff, and special guests. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to recognize these amazing young adults who persevered through the COVID crisis to complete uh, the engineering mentorship program that I conduct every year at Marion Oil and Gas. At 7 a.m. every Wednesday morning during this last fall semester, the students drug themselves to the virtual classroom where they learn the engineering tools needed to predict the future performance of an oil or gas well. They then constructed an economic analysis spreadsheet that turned their future predictions into dollars and cents, so to speak. Working alone or in small groups, their final project was to evaluate the economics of a property for sale in an online auction. Each team then presented their analysis and their recommended bid price for the property to Marion's management team, T. Greg Marion and Connie Denning. Based on the collective evaluation of all the students, Marion bid $420,000 for an overriding royalty interest in a Texas oil field. Unfortunately, the property sold for a mind-boggling $1.2 million. We did some reverse engineering after the fact and determined that the winner, if that's what you want to call them, had to assume that either the field production would never decline over the next 100 years or that oil prices were going back to $100 a barrel. Anyway, at that number, they can have it. Today, I am virtually presenting the students their certificates of achievement for successfully completing the course. Their certificates read as follows. This coveted certificate of engineering steadiness is awarded to, in this case, Alana Allison, for defying the crappy COVID crisis and the desire for sleep by dragging out of bed early Wednesday for a little petroleum engineering brain workout, and for completing an engineering evaluation of a royalty interest in the Sackrock unit in Texas. Based on Alana's recommendations, Marion Oil and Gas bid $420,000 only to get beat out by someone who didn't pay attention in their cash flow economics classes. While this acquisition didn't work out, Marion will fondly remember, for years and years, Atlanta's brilliant engineering analysis of this property. We started the year with 26 students, and as usually the case, we lost a few for one reason or another. I would now like to recognize the 18 students who persevered through the semester. Please hold your virtual applause until the actual ending. From Farmington High School, Alana Allison tested the waters under the name of Liquid Luck. Isaac Greer dug for gold as the money driller. Anna Brionis, Kyleen Yurtola, and Ethan Gwynn cemented their names in history as Destiny's Children and forever will be remembered for this classic album cover photo. From Piedra Vista High School, Lucas Chavez and Quinn Yost banjoed their way to third in the name contest with the Beverly Hillbillies. Liberty Chic stood tall under the name of Nothing Wrong with a Little American Pride. Andrew Grobler patted his balance sheet as liquid assets. Sydney Anderson bid under the eye-watering name of Oil and Gassy Dogs. And finally, the last Piedra Vista student, David Sable, as El Solo Lobo, won the closest to the bid contest with his rather aggressive $620,000 final valuation. From San Juan College High School, Enoch Jacobs stirred the pot as Team Ramen Noodles. Brianne Morrow and Luke Venturina made a shattering presentation as the Mother Earth Frackers. David Freestone and Talon Sheik banged their way to second in the name contest with Business Ain't Boomin'. And the final San Juan College High School student, Matthew Stradling, was voted by his peers to have the top team name with Crude Intentions. And finally, the lone Navajo prep student, Shaheen Bailin pulled a second place bid out of his hat under the name of Houdini. In closing, it takes a special, highly motivated individual to make all this effort for nothing more than a fancy dancy piece of cardboard. While all of the students are highly intelligent, that quality pales in comparison to their self-discipline and work ethic. Whether they choose to go on to be engineers, or whether they choose to be doctors, lawyers, or Indian chiefs, their drive to go above and beyond the rest of the competition will lead to successful, impactful lives in whatever vocation they pursue. 
Please join me in virtually congratulating these young men and women by turning on your videos and wildly waving your hands. Congratulations, kiddos. Continue to live exothermic lives. Thank you very much.